this was built as a palace, private palace, and then uh, was converted in, uh, in an hotel. At the beginning, um, the, there were only 20, 25 rooms. And then uh, when uh, we took on board, uh, we incremented the numbers of the, the rooms and uh, we, um, we had the other part of the, of the hotel, like the, the one they are on the, the other side of the, the village. Working very hard, uh, um, I feel the passion to, to welcoming um, all the guests and look after uh, my employee, and, uh, which is the key and uh, the key of this, uh, of this job. Mm. And uh, every day is different, and every day is a new story, and every day so we deliver emotion to, to our guests. Yeah. And these are, it's the rewards that uh, I get and we get from our guests. I still have a guest crying when they look at this paradise. <laughs> And or uh, by the pool, so the emotion are very high. So and uh, we, we are impressed, impressed for what we received. And you also have, you must speak about it, one of the most photographed assets in a hotel everywhere in the world, which is this incredible swimming pool that you have. Yes, the infinity pool is uh, one of the wow factors so that uh, that we have. So uh, um, I never get tired of that uh, of that view as well. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, you know, jump on it, I cannot swim on it. <laughs> uh, but um, the feedback that I heard from the guests, it's uh, it's unique, and uh, it's the combination of the the sea and the nature every day. The view it's completely different. So. So tell me, what's the secret of a good pizza? Um, so, Dennis, can you share um, your secret? A little secret. Just a little. <laughs> a little secret is uh, my hands. <laughs> okay. And uh, some magic. So, your hands and some magic. It's incredible, incredible light. So, when you eat, you don't feel in your stomach. So, and you can eat one or two. Two? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, then you can put almost anything on a pizza, but is there a specific tradition here in this region? Uh, yes, the, um, the first one is the margherita, mm -hmm. and uh, the other one that uh, Dennis really likes, it's uh, la marinara. You looked and you see slowly, slowly, some bubbles, they are coming out. Yeah, they're already And um, you will see the color, of pizza. The the color. color. yeah, it's, um, it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit browny on the, on the border. It is absolutely perfect. Wow. And voila, we need to to eat, eat it. Now, yeah. <laughs> it will be my, my third wow. one of the day, perfect. Tell me more about your, your story and the link with the history of the hotel. So you build this garden from scratch with your father. Yes, exactly. We did, uh, we did that uh, about 15 years ago when uh, this property reopened. It was a great challenge for me because uh, the owner was an English lady, member of the Kew Gardens, great botanical landscaper. So for me, I was very young, for me it was a great, great thing to do. And today, here what uh, is the result. We are working on one of the most beautiful Belmont property. Uh, we have uh, some of the most interesting uh, tree of the Mediterranean macchia, that's how it's called our uh, uh, flora. Mm -hmm. We just seen uh, oranges, we saw the cork tree, which is uh, the Quercus uber. And we are working underneath a fantastic uh, crepes pergola, mm -hmm. something pretty unique for a formal hotel. Usually, uh, gardeners use uh, jasmine or roses. We want to use uh, what grows around here. Yeah, because fruits are all over the place, actually. Yeah? All over. I, my desire is for guests to, to see exactly what people grow in their farm. And this is very, very unique and very original. I love the fact that guests work in, work in the property, go to the pool, but at the same time, see what grows around here. 
So English loves to have a, a kind of a messy gardens mm. and it was uh, nice to put up my ideas and her ideas and uh, at the end the outcome yeah, it's stunning. I'm sorry to tell you that I'm the <laughs> I, I'm the father of everything, so it's it's easy for me to say that. But uh, the result is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oranges and lemon are uh, uh, the king and the queen of the Amalfi Coast. Uh, limoncello is uh, one of the most interesting drink of the area, and uh, lemons uh, that grows on the Amalfi Coast are, are uh, super unique. The sea breeze that comes from the south attached on the skin of the lemon and it gives to the fruits this unbelievable perfume, mm. which is uh, fantastic. This region is, uh, is real, uh, real very rich about ingredients because we have a lot of ingredients that we can uh, do manipulation in kitchen. Uh, and in especially in this area that is uh, Amalfi Coast, uh, we have, uh, of course, is a patria of lemon, mm -hmm. uh, is lemon patria. All herbs and all, uh, all aroma that I use in my kitchen, I take from my garden. And in this garden, we think, um, like two years ago, to do one table is a dedicated table that uh, we call chef table because uh, I don't I don't want to place this uh, chef table that because now is fashion to put in the middle of kitchen. Yeah. I don't want to put in the middle of kitchen, but in the middle of garden yeah, because uh, because uh, because of course we have one panorama here. Yeah, I think this is one of the most uh, the most beautiful in the world. Yeah, the best product uh, maybe that. Uh, in all, uh, in, in, in all places in the world they know is sfogliatella. This sfogliatella it is one of the best because it's very crunch. <laughs> we love this crunch of the Santa Rosa and uh, of sfogliatella because we, the, the name is sfogliatella. Sometimes I don't tell uh, to our guests buon appetito but buon viaggio. <laughs>